Hey everyone, what is going on at Campi Flegri, the super volcano? We have a massive earthquake swarm. And for me, this is a continuous earthquake swarm, but the location is kind of disturbing in a way if we look at the depth of these earthquakes. We have two, magnitude 3.3, 2.7, 3.0, 3.0 over the last two days, but two 3.3 today and a 2.7. And that is absolutely crazy. But what I want to talk to you in this video, guys, is I will show you a 3 the image of how these earthquakes are located when they're going down deep and I can tell you one thing they're not deep they're unusually shallow and some of them if you see that location you will think the volcano is giving us an answer and telling the people there do not do that this is a very interesting video guys so stay with me and do me a favor if you see in the comments the hype button sometimes if you're on your cell phone you have to slide the comments away then there's the hype button please press it to support this video because this is so interesting let's have a look at this earthquake list first so you see 1.1 1.0, 2.7, at 4.36 local time, and then a 1.4, 1.6, 1.3, 1.4, 1.0, 3.3 at 4.10. So the time difference is only like 26 minutes, but it that's August 31st, but you see it goes down there. At 2.3, they have downgraded that from 2.4. That was on the 29th, on the 30th. So this is a continuous earthquake swarm because again, they have announced, I think it was the 29th, earthquake swarm has ended, new swarm starts. To me, it's rattling continuously. There's no way to hide it or sweet talk this. And then we had on the 28th, a 3.0. Guys, and this goes down like this, but let's have a look at the 3.3 earthquake here and at the location. I'll show you the epicenter of the 3.3. So if we zoom, that is a little bit east of Pozzoli. And then when we look at where the magnitude 3.0 was the other day, then it gets interesting because that's exactly the area where they want to do these test drill boreholes. That company that wants to drill geothermal wells, they want to do two test holes in this area. And right there we have the epicenters of the 3.0. So is the volcano telling us something saying, don't do this. I'm coming up there. It'll explode in your face if you do this. And the strange thing is they even want to do this on their own company property. So if something goes wrong, they want to extract some water and then put it back into the borehole. So if something goes wrong, this is your own property. So interesting interesting epicenter of this magnitude 3.3 and i want you to have a look at this list here too because also it shows the ones that are below magnitude one and uh, look at here we have a lot today this is the 3.3 that was shortly after only two minutes after a 2.7 and then they keep coming and another 3.3 just earlier so the depth is very interesting if you look at these earthquakes 0 0.69 kilometers so less than half a mile this is nothing guys this is nothing and usually if we are that shallow if we are so close to the surface we do not see these large earthquakes that's absolutely abnormal usually we see earthquakes maximum 1.52 maybe but look at this the next one that's a little bit deeper but still too shallow for a 3.3 so many people felt it very intense because it was so shallow and look at the 2.7 not even one kilometer and all the other ones as well very very shallow and 
if we look here at the trend of the magnitude, these are the red bars and that is interesting. And that's why I do not believe that how they say the earthquake swarm started today. Um, let's look at the 28th. There we had magnitude three, magnitude three, and then still 28. That's another swarm, right? Magnitude 1.8. I'm only going to the higher ones. Magnitude 2.3 here. And then we go to August 30th. It continues. Even if there's a few hours break, we have micro seismic stuff in between. And then today, 31st, 1.8. You see the magnitude 3.3. And do you see, of course, the swarm is accelerating today. That can be clearly seen here if you look at these bars. And I mean, then two, 3.3 in one day, so shortly after. This is crazy. So, of course, the people are worried right now. Will we see another four? The highest so far is a 4.6. That was the highest ever recorded since the Monte Nuovo eruption. And this can go up to five, maybe. It can get really, really bad. So, it jumps here automatically. So, let's look at this. This is, of course, the numbers of earthquakes per day. So, 28th, we had 16 on 29th, 12th, and then on the 30th, we had 10. To me, this is a continuous swarm that is intensifying today where we already have, guys, 28 earthquakes. Of course, this brings back memories from February where it has been rattled for almost two weeks. So that is quite intense, guys. But again, I said it at the beginning, if you see where they are located, oh my gosh. But I really wanted to show you these charts because that is really, really interesting. And here we have the depth and the depth goes down. They're becoming more shallow and there, this curve shows us a trend. So the magnitudes are going up, but the depth of these earthquakes is getting shallower. Is there something coming up to the surface? This is what many people are asking themselves. And that's why when we have a 3D picture of the locations of the earthquakes, you will see something that will concern you. And I say, hint, hint. We just talked about in another study that they found a one kilometer long fuse that is like a straw into the shallow magma chamber at 3.9 kilometers depth that could give magma away to the surface. And guys, I really have to say what is happening there right now, it's reaching a point where it is really, well, I'm always saying that in every video, it's very concerning, but <laughs> if that was a sandwich, I would add a layer, a layer, a layer, working myself towards the tallest sandwich in the world. This adds another layer to that sandwich. But let's have another look. So this shows us the number of the earthquakes and it shows us right now the magnitudes, right? And we're only going from the 28th to the 31st. This is only a few days. So of course we have a lot of earthquakes here in the micro seismic range, but we have a lot with magnitudes above one. And uh, if, you, if you see here, this is two at magnitude three, one, 3.3. And let's have a look at another chart that gives us the seismic trend in the last two weeks. So the red line is the maximum magnitudes that we've seen over the time. And this starts August 17th. And again, to me, this is a continuous rattling. I don't see an end, I don't see a beginning. And the blue line gives you the number of earthquakes and the green line gives you the depth of the earthquakes. And there we can really see that the green line's going down. They are getting more shallow and the red line goes up and also the blue line goes up goes up really, really high. 
has almost been as high before on uh, August 17th. That's not too long ago, right? With 27 earthquakes. And I think we'll top that because the day is not over. And even if it goes into September, you just have to look at the short time frame where this is happening. And here we see the epicenter map. And we see they're here all a little bit east of Pozzuoli, but here is the Solfatara. This is the most likely area where we could see an eruption, a phreatic eruption, they say is most likely. But in case of the Mountain Wolver eruption that we see here, it was first having a phreatic eruption and then it was followed by a magmatic eruption because the phreatic eruption was like explosives in mining. It blew the way for the magma. And we see that here. That was the magnitude three earthquake, basically where they want to drill. And that is kind of crazy. They're drilling basically on their um, company property. That's, that's where they're drilling. And they want to do two geothermal wells to see how this goes. So they have to extract some water and then they want to put the water back so that they do not hurt that, that system down there. But things could go wrong. Many experts say the chances are low, but who knows? Uh, they're not drilling very, very deep, but there's a lot of uproar. And maybe I think the citizens have a better chance now to prevent that after this epicenter here. I mean, let's make clear, this is all still Campi Flegre. This is all the volcano, what we're looking at. But this is the cluster swarm that is happening right now. And this is what concerns me a little bit if we now look at the 3D image, guys. So I'm showing you this map here. On the left, again, you see the earthquakes and you see their depth, how shallow they are. And here you see the red balls, you see the events when they happened, and you also see the magnitude, 3.3, 3.3, three, what is this, 2.7, very clustered. The red ones are basically in the last few hours and then the lighter colors are going back to August 30th, but it's definitely a cluster in this area. Guys, and now I'm clicking on something because I wanna show you this. I'm not showing you that map too often. I have in the past um, because I think this is, if we have a cluster, I always look at this to see where are they at depth? And do you notice something? If you look at the depth of these earthquakes, if you look at that here, look at that. This is the Campi Flegre area and this is where the earthquakes are coming up. Does that look like something's in one in one, how do I call this, pile, in one straw, one straw, earthquakes going upwards. So is there something coming towards the surface? Because they're not spread out into this area and that area. They're kind of vertical underneath the area where we see the epicenter, where we see all these clusters. This looks like a quite vertical line to me. If we look at this, this is the cluster. And then you look underneath it. At various depth, still very shallow. And then a lot at a very, very shallow depth. So is there something coming from below? That is the question that is in the heads of many, many people. And that's why I said this is a little bit concerning in my opinion. So we need to see how this earthquake swarm develops now over the next few hours or days. Um, but guys, what can I say? Watch the studies that I have released in the last few weeks. I have a Campi Fligre playlist. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends to raise awareness 
about this, guys. I think this is important. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, scroll down underneath the video player. There is a link in the description to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. You can buy me a coffee and uh, I will answer your video, your messages with a video message. I'm a little bit behind, but I'll do it, guys. Mother Earth keeps me so busy and check out the videos in the end screen. Really, really interesting stuff. And hello to all my channel members who click the join button for behind the scene videos and private videos. I think later today I will release where Rudy is. I posted that picture yesterday. I will tell you where I am. And until then, stay safe, guys. Click here. Bye-bye. And hype it. Please hype it if you can.